talk to you. It is so nice to meet you. 2020 was a crazy year, and season three of To Dine For looks a little different in a lot of ways. Can I do a bow? Oh, oh, Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> but some things haven't changed. Oh. There's nothing more powerful than sitting down to a meal. Do you mind if I say a quick prayer? Please. please. Diving into delicious food at restaurants around the country. When they shut down the restaurants, I didn't go to my restaurant for my last meal. After spending time as a news anchor here in Chicago, Kate Sullivan pivoted a bit and a couple of years ago this began producing and hosting a show with a great concept called To Dine For. Kate and a notable guest share a meal at his or her favorite restaurant, and that's the jumping off point that stirs conversation about food, culture, and anything else that comes up. And Kate joins us now. Kate, how are you? Hi, Kate. I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Doing so, well. I mean, obviously, this this has been a horrible time for restaurants, yes. and I can't imagine shooting a show like this that is in restaurants with people that you have to be distanced from. How did it happen? In the middle of a pandemic, right? Crazy. You know, we started shooting this directly before the pandemic, and so then it was a matter of do we keep going? And so many restaurants are devastated. So many restaurants need help and are trying so hard to stay afloat. And we felt like because the show is a toast to great restaurants around the country, that it was important to keep going on with the series. And so we were able to very carefully, we changed our, the entire way we did the show. We started shooting actually in uh, outside of when normal diners are in the restaurant. So we started like an hour before we would shoot the interview there. But to be able to give restaurants the love and support that they needed at this time was important to us. How was Mark Cuban? What do you have to say? <laughs> well, first of all, he chose IHOP as his oh. absolute favorite restaurant in Dallas, Texas. And I thought to myself, of all the restaurants in <laughs> Dallas, he chose IHOP. And I absolutely loved it because it was real. He actually eats there every single week. We, we sat at the table he sits in right there. You just saw it. We had uh, Tammy, his waitress, that he has every week. Um, he was actually, for all the bravado that you see on television, he was actually probably one of the most easy and comfortable conversations I've ever had on to dine for. Um, he is someone whose life has had a lot of ups and downs. He came from Pittsburgh, blue collar, and you know, for him, it's about making an impact. He doesn't need to make any more money, right? He's now a billionaire many times over. And so he talked a lot about how his life has come full circle and how he is now sort of Mark 2.0 or 3.0. So it was a really fun interview. And you also sat down with Misty Copeland, the ballerina. Yes, isn't she amazing? Um, you know, this is an interesting time for ballet and live performances. And you know, I'm, I, I'm not sure I would be would have been able to interview her had we not had she had had this pause in her career. But she was phenomenal. She was homeless. People don't realize she was homeless. She wasn't mm -hmm. discovered as a as a ballerina prodigy until she was about 12 years old. That's very very late for a ballerina. And so she talks about some of the difficulties with body image, with obviously being uh, very often the only black girl in the room. Um, what was that experience of, of, of really her ascending career like? Uh, she was phenomenal and she takes me to the Mermaid Inn in New York City, which is truly her favorite spot. It's a, her, a neighborhood joint and it's very close to where she lives. Doing anything with Chicago and the podcast maybe, anything? Yes. So um, in September, we started a 40 episode podcast that I wanted to make it really Chicago centric, um, partly because I didn't want to travel. And um, the, the show, for the most part, was shot. And I really wanted to give some love to Chicago restaurants. And so we went to the South Side to Josephine's Cooking in Chatham with Jamal Cole, who created My Block, My Hood, My City, an amazing community organization. We eat chicken and waffles and hear the story of his creation story because he, he created that from scratch. We go with Alpana Singh to her favorite restaurant and get this, she chose Gibson's, which is sort of this classic Chicago restaurant. I was really interested to hear where she would choose because you know she hosts the show Check Please, which is about people's favorite restaurant in Chicago. So of all the restaurants, she chose Gibson's. We also went to Oak Park, Illinois, to um, Hemingway's Bistro with Robert Passan, who is the, C the found, not the founder, the CEO of Radio Flyer, a great American iconic company. Well, it's great to see you, Kate. And if you want to find uh, To Dine For on PBS, Create TV and Amazon Prime is where you'll find it. Uh, stay well. Good to see you. Thanks, Great Kate. to see you. Thanks for having me on. Take Enjoy care. your day.